Well, as you mentioned, masks will now be required for students in all grade levels. Duval County now becoming the eighth school district in the state with a required mask policy. However, this vote was not unanimous. School board members Lori Hershey and Charlotte Joyce voted against this mandate. Now, this will be enforced starting September 7th. It will also last 90 days. However, the board does have the opportunity to suspend this mandate if percent positive cases of COVID-19 decrease. Now, the district does not have a percent positive number really that they're looking at that would suspend this order. However, they will be looking at the rules based on recommendations from doctors. Now, masks will be required for students when they are inside buildings, including school sponsored events like pep rallies and other things. They will also be required while on the buses, but will not be required when students are playing sports, even in side like basketball or volleyball. Now this decision did get emotional for some of the board members who say the number of COVID cases among kids led them to this decision. We have to step in and create a safer environment for the students tomorrow and the next day than, than it is right now because as we see it we tried at the very beginning to put that measure in place and be creative but it's not working. I appreciate the community that's that's shown up. Um, but I, I am actually greatly troubled to get to this point. We don't have an amount, but the work's been done, so it's clear there's an agenda. Back out here live tonight and since the start of the school year, Superintendent Dr. Diana Green says the district has had 815 positive COVID cases, including 704 students. She also says she would not be surprised if the district surpassed 1000 positive cases by Wednesday. She also noted seven district staff members have died from COVID since the summer. Now there is an updated opt out policy, however, you must have a letter from a medical professional. Those students need that letter for either medical, physical or psychological reasons. Parents no longer will be able to simply opt out their kids. Now there is still a lot to unpack with this order and we are posting that emergency order along with this story right now on firstcoastnews.com. But starting September 7th, all students within DCPS must wear a mask. We're live outside DCPS tonight. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.